Willkommen zurück in der Magnificent Magna Lounge, in unserem VIP-Bereich. Diesmal mit niemandem geringerem als BBL, First Win, Captain America, Bo Beach. What's good, Bo? Nothing much, Rupert. Thank you for having me today. I appreciate it. You like it here in this lounge? Yeah, it's really nice. Great spot. It's very magnificent. Right, Coach? Most important thing, we are separated by this pillow, so we don't have to sit next to each other. So, Bo, finally, we celebrated our first win. Or actually, finally, it was already in the third game against Gießen at Gießen. Which feeling did you felt more? Was it more joy because of the win or relief because we found out that we can finally win in this league? Definitely more joy. Um, I think everyone on the team, including myself, coaches, even the management, we all knew that we could win in this league. We have the players to win in the league. Um, but the BBL, it's tough. You really have to play well, especially on the road in Gießen. Gießen's a very uh, tough place to play. Had a great crowd there. Um, so for us, I think it was more joy. I mean, it's just winning the game is always fun. Everyone loves winning. So it was definitely a great experience. And, you know, it's always great to be a, the first to be a part of the first in any team. So to be the first win for the BBL, for the Hamburg Towers is, um, yeah, a lot of joy. It wasn't joy for Mike, because you guys stole his shoe. I remember this. Yeah, yeah, that was a... Uh, Tavon took his shoes off, because that's just what we do. We're just, we're just weird. <laughs> so one is a sneaky, fun guy. Nobody really knows about yes, it. For sure. Yeah. Tavon, if you talk and hang out with Tavon for a day, he's going to have you dying laughing the whole time. Like, he's funny, but he, he's super calm and uh, kind of straight-faced on the game, but he's a fun guy. You already said it. First two games in the BBL were tough, were especially tough for you as well. You feel that you're on the BBL level now? You made your threes, you had a double-double with rebound, played some solid defense? Yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, start of the season, you know, playing some good competition, good teams. Um, And it just takes time, you know, for everybody to kind of get into that game flow, that how intense the games are, because it's it's different than preseason. You know, we played hard in preseason, and other teams were playing hard. But, you know, you get in front of 4,000 fans, and you play a little harder now all of a sudden. So it's just, you know, figuring out what we have to do individually and then as a team to be successful. And, um, yeah, you know, it was an okay game, and hopefully we can keep getting better for everybody, because I think – We didn't even play our best against Geese, and we played well, but we can still play better. Offensively, you're a pretty strong guy, pretty good guy, well-rounded guy. Now, on the defensive end, <clears throat> there was some kind of frustration a couple of times with you fouling out or contesting shots and getting called for a foul. At Gießen, you don't have this problem. Are you working on this? Yeah, yeah, working every day. Just Not just myself, but everybody on the team. We're all working to try to foul less. Be aggressive, be physical, but less fouls. I mean, the first two games, if you look at the stat sheet, we had a lot of fouls. And I think that was part of why we didn't play very well. Um, in Gießen, we had less fouls, uh, gave up less free throws attempts. So I think, you know, it's just something we're all working on. And we're really focused on it and just want to keep getting better throughout the year. Because without fouling, it gives us a chance to play fast. You know, if they miss, it gives us a chance to play fast, even if they make. It still gives us a chance to play fast, but a free throw is always tough to play fast off a free throw. You're always a hard worker, and one thing I noticed when you came back this summer is you're a little bit pumped. You put on some, some muscles. <laughs> was it planned anyway for you to put on muscles, or was it, did you focus on it especially because we're playing BBL right now? Um, no, I, I mean, I obviously knew that BBL uh, was a more physical league. Um, so I, I had the idea of gaining weight most summers. I, that's the goal, put on some weight, get stronger, um, get my body ready for the long season. So I'm glad you noticed. <laughs> I felt like I worked hard this summer. Um, but, you know, just maintaining it now. Melo's doing a great job getting all of us ready. We had a good workout this morning um, on the court. So it's, um, yeah, it's just a process kind of keep it, trying to keep it going, find things that I can get better at physically and on the court. So. Um, long season, hopefully I can keep getting stronger. One last thing before we go to the fun part. We're playing Frankfurt yeah. this Saturday. A team which had a, let's call it a rough start as well. They're 0-3 and also lost their cup game. What are your expectations for this game? 
Well, they're a good team. We played them in the preseason. They have some talented players inside, outside, some one-on-one -on -one guys. They can knock down shots. So <laughs> it's uh, just because they're 0-3 doesn't mean it's going to be an easy game for the Hamburg Towers. I mean, they're a good team. They're physical. So we need to be ready for that. And on the road, another road game. It's always tough. Big gym. Um, so we have to we have to be ready, but be ready. They'll be they'll be feisty. They'll be ready to play. Hopefully, you guys know what feisty means. Yeah. That was a big word. I'm sorry. Actually, I never came up with the translation of feisty. I even googled it. There's no German word for feisty, but I guess everybody knows what it means. Pissig, bissig, maybe pissig or bissig. Okay. By by the way, when we had the preseason game at Frankfurt, their PR guy told me, wow, that guy Bo Beach, he can really shoot it. <laughs> That's what I'm here to do. Yeah. That's what I'm here to do. Okay, Bo, let's go to the fun part now. We have some questions from the fans. Und dann nochmal der Aufruf an die Fans, uns Fragen zu schicken an Spieler XYZ. Schreibt uns euren Wunschspieler. Wenn wir ihn im Interview haben, stellen wir ihm die Fragen. Nächste Woche wahrscheinlich hier Heiko Schafatik. Also bereitet euch auf die Fragen vor. Presse at hamburgtowers.de schreibt Fragen, wie ihr sie wollt. So we prepared some questions here. You can take out one of those questions and then I've collected some more. First question, what's your favorite holiday? What's your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday? Oh, that's, oh, that's tough, man. I'm, I'm in love with Italy. Uh -huh. I love Italy a lot because of everything is great in Italy. The food, the landscape, the sea, the, the way that people dressing, the woman, I know I said it. But Italy is great, so Italy is my favorite holiday. Yeah. Um, in America, we don't celebrate Italy as a holiday. You know, I meant like holiday as like Christmas or oh. yeah, or like New Year's Eve or like my birthday. That's a good holiday. And it's Christmas because on the 24th we're celebrating Christmas and the 25th is my birthday. So that's, oh, it is. yes, oh. it's a big celebration for me. All right, well my brother and sister will be here then for your birthday. Nice. Yeah, that's your birthday present from me. Nice. <laughs> so actually I came up with a question by myself right. related to your family. When everything is said and done, Who will be the bigger basketball legend? The player Bo Beach or the coach Bud Beach? Oh, no question about it. The coach Bud Beach. <laughs> I mean, no doubt. There's no way I can live up to anything he did on the basketball court or on the bench. Um, I mean, yeah, what he's done basketball-wise, I can only dream of accomplishing. So, for sure, legend coach Bud Beach. Just retired. Yeah, just retired. So, he's looking to make the trip over here with my mom. And uh, he's been able to watch all the games so far, so that's good. Really nice guys. I got him to know last year when we played in Nuremberg. Great family. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. And last question is from Christopher Pieper, our most important sponsors guy. You remember him? Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. He's asking, do you miss Drew Barham? Yeah, I do miss Drew. Um, we actually FaceTimed yesterday for a little bit and talked. So that's my guy. He's doing great back at home, just flying a bunch. You know, he's pilot. Captain Drew Barham, so it's uh, it's a little different not having him here, but I mean we keep in touch so much, it's almost like we're still together hanging out. So um, once another person, I hope that can come and visit sometime during the year. And uh, he can get, fly over. That's what I've been telling him, right? He can fly over. So Captain Drew Barham yeah. and Captain America Bo Beach. Okay, we have some more. Oh, we have surprise. 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 Look who's here. Barham. Oopala. I got you. Yeah. Oh shoot! It's your boy Bo! <laughs> Just seen you a quick video. Just remember, always let it fly. You're about to get buckets this whole season. You can take all my shots. I miss you, bro. I got my K1X shirt on. Dude. <laughs> Go Towers. Represent. Number one, baby. Miss you guys. Love everybody. And Bo, just remember, you're a bucket, a walking bucket and my dog. Love you guys. Hi, Annie. Have a great day. <laughs> what a guy. I mean, just what a guy. He's a great dude. Obviously, love him, would do anything for him. I wish him nothing but the best of luck. Wish he can come here and visit. Wish I was still playing with him. Um, he's on to bigger and better things in life, though, so... I'm just happy to be able to talk to him and still have the friendship that we have. And um, 
I know Hamburg misses you too, Drew, that's for sure. And, uh, you know, Coach, Twan, all the guys from last year, we all miss you. But um, keep flying and just fly the plane over to Hamburg one time. We'll pick you up at the airport. Definitely. Drew and Bo, thank you. Yep. Thank you, Rupert. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und wir sehen uns nächste Woche wieder in der Magnificent Magna Lounge oder am Samstag auf Magenta Sport, 18 Uhr, bei den Fraport Skylanders in Frankfurt. Heißer Tipp, ins Hamburger Ding kommen. Dort gibt es Public Viewing und eventuell sind wir im Vorfeld oder in der Halbzeit auch live aus der Arena zugeschaltet. Bis dahin, ciao. Catch it, Danny. <lacht>